Hey artists, today you're gonna get back your painting that you started last class based on Nathan Brown. And off the supply table you're gonna get um, two paintbrushes, one of each size, and you're gonna get a magazine page. And then you're going to go to the table color that you are using. So I was using red last time, so I'm gonna to go to the red table. Once you are there, you should have some little cups of black at your table. So it's the opposite of last time. Last time you had your color in the cup and I gave you white. This time, black is in the cup, and I will come around and when you're ready. I will give you your color. Okay, so what I'm going to do is when we made tints last time, you took white, or you had white, and you put the color from the cup into the white. Okay, and that gave you a really light tint, and then it kept getting darker and darker. This time, it's going to be the opposite. So I'm going to take black this time, and it's going to go into my color. So I'm just going to go little dab of black it's hardly going to take anything and start to mix that together and black is a pretty strong color so it really won't take a whole lot to start to change that color carefully mixing it and now i can paint my first set of shades so when i look at my artwork it looks like i have one section two sections, three sections left to paint. Okay, so I'm gonna paint that. Remember to carefully outline first. Paint right along the edge of your stripe. That'll give you a nice smooth edge. And then you can go in, you can fill in that section. See how much easier it is then to just go in and fill this in while still keeping those really nice edges that I have. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one. Maybe I'll do, uh, maybe I'll do this one right here. And I'm also gonna do this one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna fill in all three of those. Right, so I painted my three sections with that shade of red. I'm going to take my paint again, get another dip of black, mix it in. It's going to continue to get darker, mixing that whole puddle. Remember to keep the puddle kind of small. You don't want to be mixing it across your whole entire sheet of paper because the more this puddle spreads out, the less paint you're actually going to have to use. Okay, so it looks like it's pretty well mixed up. I can paint my next shade. Outline. And then fill it in. Next section is done. Take another little dip of black. Mix it in. Make a darker shade. And repeat what you're doing. Okay, and you're just going to keep doing this until your artwork is all finished. Very similar to last time, except you are getting darker with your colors. Once you get this far, you have your entire thing painted. You did all of your shades. This is gonna go on the drying rack. Put your paintbrushes in the dirty uh, brush bin, and then your magazine page can go in the garbage can.